Hey, Demon Driver here. How you guys doing? Um, a lot of foam dust flying around, so got my uh, dust mask on. I was just doing some sanding on the Emirates 777 nose section here, but because there's so much dust, I'm going to put this back on, so don't be upset about that. Better to protect your lungs than, uh, you know, to be unsafe. Uh, this is the Emirates 777-9X nose section. All right, I've done all of the preliminary sanding that I want to do, but if you look at it, all of the styrofoam now has pitting in it. So, what we're going to do is, and here's the, here is the tail section of our Emirates 9X. Um, I've started the preliminary sanding. Um, I have a bit more to do on the tail before I start spackling, but the nose section is ready to spackle. And uh, what I'm using is a product called uh, One Time Lightweight Spackle from Red Devil. It's uh, sold here in the United States. Uh, you can buy it, um, let me see if they have a website, reddevil.com in um, Pryor, Oklahoma, USA. This, in my opinion, is the best lightweight spackle for what I'm about to do on the market. Um, when it dries, it's a very easy to sand spackle, okay? And what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna apply this to the, uh, to the Emirates 9X, 7, 777-9X nose section. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's get started, come on. Okay, what are we gonna need? Okay, obviously our uh, one-time Red Devil lightweight spackle. A uh, couple of spackle trowels, one inch, and this is about a, about a three inch right here, spackle trowel. And then I've got my curved spackle trowel, uh, aluminum, just piece of uh, um, aluminum siding or steel siding, and you just, you can curve it and that's a good thing. So, and then obviously we have our 777 9X nose. So let's get right to, let's get right down to it. Let me show you how we do this. Okay, we have our 777-9X nose section, Emirates. I go ahead, open up the spackle, and what I do is I can reach in with the trowel. Make sure you don't get any debris inside there because if you get debris in there, that'll just, those will be little chunks that you have to get off uh, anyway. You're gonna have to dig them off. Let me actually, let me take this foam pad and put everything on top of this foam pad here. It makes it easier because if uh, excess spackle drops off, it'll hit the pad and I don't have to clean it off the table. It just makes life easier. Okay. All right, let's dig out a little bit of, let's dig out some spackle. A good amount like that. And we just take it and we just Put it straight on to the triple seven nose section. Now I have the dust mask on because there's foam dust still flying around. I try to vacuum up as much as I can with the vacuum, but sometimes I can't get it all. So in order to just be protect the old lungs, you want to put a little dust mask on. At least I I do. So we we go ahead and we just apply. Just apply the uh, lightweight spackle right to the surface of the nose section. See? You dig it out and you just apply it. You just, like this, straight on and you follow the curvature of the, of the nose section. And you try and, you know, you look at it and you're trying to make sure that you're filling on in all the little holes and pits. Now, let's get that right there. If you look up here,
Now, if you look up here on the nose section, there's some pits. This is one piece of foam. This is another piece of foam. We got some pits in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my smaller one-inch trowel and I'm just going to fill in those little holes. And I'm going to use my smaller trowel to fill in those holes and fill in the gap between the no the little nose cap piece of styrofoam and the main body of the uh, of the triple seven nine X's nose styrofoam nose. So I'm taking the one inch and I'm just applying it because when you start to get up near the the top the the, the radom you kind of want to using a smaller trowel is just a little bit easier. It's easier to contour the uh, it's easier to contour the very uh, very sharp curve that's up towards the nose. It's a very very small but very uh, you know this is where the curve really starts to come in, of course, is it, you know, it all focuses right in up in here. So we just, see what we're doing? See? Now to some people who are big card model builders, all this sanding and everything is just irritating and you guys won't do it. And that's fine. Everybody's got their own method and I completely respect that there are 15 or 20 different building methods and I respect all of them. At the end of the day, the end result is you flying the plane. And that's the key. That's what you have to do. Now see, what's going to happen is we want to try and clean this up and get all of these little jaggies, these little, these little, uh, you know, little balls of, uh, of spackle, we want to get rid of them. As many as we can. And we, don't, we really don't want to create more of them. They, cre they get created when you have a glob and you pull and you just, you know, you got to kind of... When excess runs off the, off the trow, it's going to form up somewhere. So there's the nose section done. Here's the, uh, here's the flight here are the flight deck windows. Flight deck windows right up in there. Okay, now that we have basically the entire uh, Emirates 777-9X nose section covered with spackle. Go ahead and cover spackle back up. We take this curved trowel. Remember I showed you this? And we're going to go down the nose and we're going to try and smoothen things out a little bit to the best of our ability. So I take the trowel, curve it a little bit in your fingers, and just gently come down. And let's try and let's try and smooth out and get rid of some of these jaggies, these the best we can. See this this spackle's drying quick. It's really dry and cold out today. So that can affect the spackle like you wouldn't believe. It kind of looks like some kind of strange Sicilian wedding cake over here. Look at this thing. It looks like a it looks like a piece of looks like a pastry with all the. It looks like um, like icing or something. <laughs> this guy's making a triple seven uh, cake over here. What's going on? All right. So let's go ahead and up near the nose. What you want to do is you want to you want to really exaggerate the curve and you come down very gently and just contour contour the nose the best you can and you're going to get some excess like so there we go and just gently gently turn it like so and we just gently see. You're still going to get lines, but the idea is you get less. You get 
this helps smooth out the spackle a little bit. A little bit. It's better than nothing. And the fact that the spackle's kind of dry doesn't really help the situation, but it's okay. And we just run this up the nose very gently. Very gently. And then we just turn the turn the foam pad around a little bit and just do There we go. It's not perfect, but it works pretty well. You're going to get some little You're going to get some little ridges, but you can sand those out. It's not a big deal. Just make sure it's not too deep of a ridge and you can come along and sand that out. This is about a two or three step process. I wait let for this to dry, sand, add another layer, sand it. But the beautiful thing is, man, when it's done, you're going to get such a smooth surface. All of my 737s, the 737 Max 7, the 300 and the 200, the nose sections are done exactly the same way. And it works pretty well. It works real well. And I know it looks pretty rough, the surface looks pretty rough, but once, once it's sanded, man, whoo, baby, it's going to look good. It's going to look real good. It look good as Sergei's and Rami's 777. There's a guy in India, I forgot his name, he built that uh, FedEx 777. Magnificent. He just maidened it not too long ago. What a beauty. What a beauty. Beautiful airplane. All right, there we go. Okay, well, I'm going to let that dry. Let that set, and then I'm going to tack it with uh, sanding pads, sanding blocks, sand it down to get it nice and smooth, and um, find any, you know, uh, any flaws or little divots and things. Apply some more spackle, sand it down again, and then once it's smooth, it's going to look beautiful. It's going to look really nice. It's going to be a nice surface. So that's how I apply spackle to a nose section. Do the same thing to the tail section engine to sell any styrofoam surface, even balsa wood. You can do the same thing on balsa. All right, Steamer Driver, thank you for watching. I'm honored. God bless.